Do you see this as go- are we are we going back? To, I mean, we hear a lot about recession, and I do a show every month. It's called the Millennial and the Old Man, and I'm obviously not the millennial, <laughs> but the millennials, you know, they only know one recession. They've only lived through one, which was well, 2020. They don't count. I mean, that was right. like, that was just a whole different world. Technical but, adjustment. Yeah, but they they remember mom and dad struggling in 2008. Are we going back to that again, do you think? I, I definitely don't. I think the you know, and we say that because there's real uh, data that doesn't support us going back to that, right? We're, we're, you know, the, the money that's going out there. The, the Great Recession was a, uh, a real estate-fueled um, recession where we were giving out money to anybody and everybody. We you shouldn't have been doing mirror, that. Fog and mirror, you're getting the money, right? And so, you know, the whole system imploded and almost took down, you know, all the other financial areas around that. And so now, you know, lending standards, as you know, are really difficult. You have to really qualify for the loan. Um, you've got you have you, to be able to repay it. You have what is, to what a surprise, surprise. Show that you have the assets and the income and all that, and not too much debt and everything. And so, there, you know, there's that part of it. Then you've got the part where we don't have a, a glut of inventory. We've got a good jobs market. So I think that across, you know, economically, um, you know, we had 11 million jobs open, you know, this last report. And so um, people are employed, um, you know, at least locally here, you've got people that have good jobs. So I think the dynamics, the financial dynamics are very different now where people, um, you know, are qualifying for the loans. They're buying homes that they can afford. Um, you know, the distress rates and across Orange County, even across the country are extremely low. So I have right. people saying, hey, you know, are the REOs coming back and short sales? No, because, you know, the average uh, owner in Orange County has 40, 50 percent equity in their home. Right. So no one's walking away from 50 percent equity in their house. Yeah, you're not going to walk away from, you know, you have a, a median home price of a million and change. You're not going to walk away. So it was a million four or five hundred thousand dollars right. of equity. I got four hundred thousand dollars. I think I'll just let it. Go. I don't want it. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away. So <laughs> I mean, me, I'll the, take it. The the dynamics around the market, the fundamentals are completely different than what they were during the Great Recession. So no, I don't think we're going back to that. I think that we're going through um, an adjustment period where we've got to get inflation under control. Rates are the way that the Fed does that. That's their tool in their tool chest. Um, and you know, I think that as you look ahead, once we get past sort of this inflation issue that we have, um, I think we're back to a, a, you know, a continued healthy market. Good stuff. And, and just, just to, to clarify, because Danny's completely right that the fed does use these interest rates, but a lot of times when we get closer to the fed accomplishing their mission, the home loan rates actually will start going the opposite of what the federal reserve is doing. So as the Fed starts getting to where they're, they're, they're right now, they're trying to get inflation under control. As we see inflation coming under control, we should start seeing home loan rates drop as well. 